If tracks are the arteries of a railroad, then bridges are the joints, making connections that take freight and passenger trains to businesses and communities. Nearly 10,000 bridges totaling 300 miles in length support the Norfolk Southern Railway system. They come in all styles, construction materials, and sizes, crossing rivers, creeks, and roads. But one thing is constant. Where railroad bridges are concerned, there's always more than meets the eye. Safety is the first priority. Norfolk Southern's bridge inspection program is extensive, and every bridge is examined a minimum of once annually, more frequently if merited, and meeting and often exceeding regulatory requirements. From what we see in our inspections, our inspectors and the engineers that review their reports are able to determine uh, that the bridge is safe or if it needs work in the future, and from that plan the type work that's needed and then we execute that work. Norfolk Southern's bridge inspection training program was developed by bridge engineers and is taught by experts in inspection, repair, and maintenance. Trainees learn theory in the classroom, then hit the field for walkthrough inspections on each of the three types of bridges on the railway, timber, steel, and stone or concrete. Every single individual involved in the bridge inspection process attends one of these classes every three years. Norfolk Southern certified inspectors are top professionals. They're looking for, for any anomaly. They are there to look at the bridge, see what's there, and then file a report that tells and shows using photographs or sketches or narratives that documents the condition of the bridge as it exists on the day that they did the inspection. Norfolk Southern's bridges are designed and constructed conservatively. They are built to last. In fact, Norfolk Southern hasn't had a bridge-related event resulting in loss of life or significant injury or property loss in modern history. The bridge you see behind us, for example, was built in the 1920s, and we see very little signs of distress in that bridge. We have bridges that were built in 1908 that we foresee no work in in the foreseeable future. Railroad bridges aren't always pretty. It is important to note, however, that a bridge's appearance bears little or no relevance to its safety. Well, if you just have a surface coat of rust, it means absolutely nothing. Where you start to have concern is where you have section loss, where you lose steel as a result of rust. Our engineers make a determination as to whether or not that's, that amount of section loss at that location is critical or not critical. Appearances can be deceiving. That's why Norfolk Southern encourages the public to contact the railroad whenever a bridge question arises. We have a very relatively large bridge population. We have close to 10,000 bridges. It's over 300 miles of bridges. And we care about every foot, literally. I care about them personally. Everyone involved out there does, the people that inspect them, the people that maintain them. We have a huge interest in the safety of these bridges from uh, the standpoint of our employees, from the standpoint of the general public. We understand that and we take it very seriously. There is a lot more to railroad bridges than most of us ever knew. Norfolk Southern traces its roots to the 1830s. Now we are one of America's largest railroads, moving more than seven million carloads of freight each year over a 20,000 mile network, the lifeblood of the economy. We have the experience, know-how, and incentive to keep our bridges safe, sound, and serviceable. We've always done that. We always will.